Liberal state rep is forcibly removing people from their homes. Here's Ho getting the boot from his town. Liberals love to pretend that they are allies of the common folk including senior citizens. They frequently pander to older voters and use fear tactics to scare the elderly into voting Democrat. Shockingly, however, a Democrat lawmaker in New Hampshire was just caught on video showing his true colors. During a joint committee on education meeting in Manchester, NH, state representative and alderman Christopher Herbert unveiled his ridiculous plan, kick the elderly out of their homes and force them out of the city. The discussion focused on the city's rising property taxes, which have made it difficult for senior citizens to keep the houses they have built and where they've raised families. Conservatives at the meeting suggested the common-sense approach of tax credits for older Americans, but Herbert stunned observers with his cold-hearted response. Via the Federalist Papers, yesterday a video of a Manchester, New Hampshire committee meeting was posted to YouTube. The meeting took place on May 24, but there was extremely disturbing and interesting commentary made by a Manchester alderman. Apparently, the topic was property taxes and tax credits for the elderly. The meeting was a joint committee meeting on education. Education being the largest chunk of expense for any property taxes. Alderman Christopher Herbert, Democrat, who is also a New Hampshire state representative, decided that the elderly should just get out rather than be given tax credits. Many towns will give the elderly tax credits because they are often on fixed incomes and most towns rarely decrease property taxes but continually raise them, making it unaffordable for the elderly who have lived in the towns for decades. Herbert decided to rail against his elderly neighbor who apparently owns a home but can't afford the property taxes on it. Rather than give her a tax credit, he believes she should get out of her house. From the video, I've got an 85-year-old woman that lives across the street, and, and she won't give up her house, she's sitting on $350,000 and she can't afford it anymore and you're saying pointing to older woman shop give her a tax credit. No. We should have a program that gets her out of the house. You read that correctly. The caring and concerned Democrat wants senior citizens to leave the homes where they have lived for decades. Apparently Herbert sees the residents of the city not as people, but only as walking dollar signs. It might be tempting to give the liberal lawmaker the benefit of the doubt and presume that he misspoke. However, Christopher Herbert doubled down on his hateful comments and revealed that he doesn't see any place for the elderly in the city. I mean, we need to get new people to come in and, and, occupy those houses. We can't be run by the elderly in a city, that, that, that's foolishness. What is it with Democrats and their obsession with occupying other people's success? If you build a business, an investment, or in this case a home, it's only a matter of time before a bloviating liberal will demand that it's owed to somebody else. Senior citizens across the country often struggle to make ends meet while on fixed incomes. The same meddlesome government which has made things difficult for the elderly through ever-increasing taxes now wants to remove Americans from their own homes, all in a constant lust for more revenue. One of the women on the council was rightly offended by Herbert's money-grabbing scheme. She took the Democrat to task over his apparent attack on the elderly. Well, I'm 75 years old, and I consider myself basically elderly, but I want to keep my house and I'm on a pension, a teaching pension. Barbara Shaw responded. Unsurprisingly, the Democrat stance against senior citizens did not sit well with voters. Many people used social media to criticize the leftist lawmaker. Herbert continued to put his foot in his mouth and stated on Facebook that he wanted to help the elderly monetize their property. That vague phrase, of course, means force the elderly to sell their houses in plain English. The irony of the entire situation is that senior citizens are one of the largest demographics of voters in the country, and the number of retired baby boomers is expected to be a major opportunity for businesses and healthcare providers. Of course, viewing senior citizens as a menace to remove from American towns could be why older citizens are rejecting Democrats at the polls. As USA Today exit poll numbers showed after the 2016 election, the majority of voters over the age of 65 voted for Donald Trump. Americans who are, are approaching retirement age also rejected liberal candidates in the last election. Voters between 45 and 65 years old embraced Trump. Collectively, citizens who are over age 45 make up a staggering 55% of the entire voting demographic. In other words, alienating older Americans is a terrible tactic for any party.
Those citizens could be a strong voter base for the left, but in the rush to occupy their homes, Democrats such as Herbert have pushed them away. In towns across the country, people are realizing that the left does not actually have their best interests in mind. Liberals always show their true colors eventually and Americans all over the country are starting to notice. H slash T, Washington Free Beacon slash Federalist Papers. Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe and comment because your voice matters and visit our page on Facebook and like them and follow up. And thanks for watching.